Welcome back to David's Tutorials video series on understanding tabs in Microsoft Word. In the previous chapter, we covered adding, moving, and deleting tab stops. If you missed any of the previous videos in the series, please click here to catch up. In this video, we will cover the left, center, and right tab stops. Let's open the tabs dialog and look in the alignment area. You will note the top three listings are left, center, and right. It is obvious we can set our tab stops this way when we set them with the tabs dialog. But before we get into that, let's look at just what it all means. Very simply, a left tab lines up the left edge of the text with the tab stop. A center tab lines up the center of the text with the tab stop, and a right tab lines up the right edge of the text with the tab stop. As you can see, this is very useful for setting up tables of information to make sure each row lines up precisely with the one above it. Notice the tab stop symbols in the ruler bar. This is a symbol for a left tab, this is a symbol for a center tab, and this is a symbol for a right tab. Now let's set some tabs. In this example, as I turn on special character visibility, you can see there are single tab characters in between each text element on these lines. First, I will insert tab stops. Start by selecting all the text. Next, click in the ruler bar to insert tabs at a quarter inch, at two and a half inches, and at five inches. Now, I open the tabs dialog by double clicking on one of the tab stop symbols in the ruler bar. Selecting the second stop in this list, I click the center alignment selector and click set. Next, I select the third stop, click the right alignment selector, click set, then OK. You can see now the entire table is aligned correctly and the center and right symbols are displayed in the ruler bar. You can also control which types of tabs are inserted by clicking on the tab type selector at the far left of the ruler area. Each time you click this selector, it rotates to the next in a sequence of six options. The left, center, and right tab types are the first three of these options. In this example, let's drag to select all the text. Looking at the tab type selector, we see left tab is designated, so let's click at the quarter inch marker to insert a left tab stop at that point. Next, click the tab type selector once to designate a center tab, then click at the two and a half inch mark, inserting a center stop there. Finally, click the tab type selector one more time to designate a right tab, then click at the five inch mark to insert the stop there. Note the final alignment of the text at this point. You should now have a good handle on left, center, and right tab stops, what they are and how to insert them. In the next chapter, we will look at two other types of tab stops, decimal stops and bar tab stops.